Maggie vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are doing well. I know your girl has been super quiet, but life has been happening. Um, today, I'm on my way to Zara to see what's new in the stores. Um, and uh, they're trying to bully me, saying, Yeah, yeah. I want to see what's new in the stores. Um, I went to try and do some watch shopping um, but the prices for watches yeah are crazy babe especially for Rolex they are crazy so I said to myself you know what I'm gonna wait a little bit longer um, and just because I'm due to travel soon I want to travel first when I come back I can see what I can do but anywho yeah let's go to Zara and see what's new in the stores if we like anything let's try some stuff on do you know what i didn't even plan to do this so it's literally so very spontaneous let's go <laughs> Headed to the new Bond Street Zara to see what's new in the store and I feel like Zara has more item online than on store in the store um, I saw this dress I thought it was kind of cute wasn't too sure about the black lines at the front and then it came across this skirt which I thought would be really nice to wear with the top right next to it um, I've seen this on TikTok so I wanted to try it on and then I came across this um, cord. I saw it previously when I was with my friend. I didn't get a chance to try it on, so I grabbed it. Also loved this blue dress. Well, the color looks really nice. Let's give it a try to see what is on. Outfit check. <laughs> I received so many compliments on this day, actually, on my outfit. And it was really simple and nothing special but i think you know it's the simplest outfit that sometimes gets the most compliments i'm in the changing room and this is i've got seven pieces to try on um i think the vibe is just something to wear in london and potentially on holiday as well so i picked up a few pieces i feel like at the moment they don't really have a lot of things in store but they have a lot of nice things online so i think i keep doing this a lot these days and i feel like i'm trying to get lines now <laughs> i don't know why i keep doing that but um i was just saying that today i've received so many compliments and you know some compliments are not even verbal people just look at you like and it's been both men and women just telling me that i look good so i'm like okay and i was saying that sometimes being sexy and feminine is not about being vulgar let me do this it's about um yeah it's not about being i was saying like being sexy is not about being vulgar and it's not about being naked like sometimes as a woman you can be fully covered up and still look chic still look sexy you know and feminine so this is literally the outfit i'm wearing today my sandals are off and i just held my bag there and i was just getting so many compliments but anyway because of the music let me start getting dressed so this is the first dress i like it what do we think it has like this line black line at the front it also has it at the back but i tied it at the back just to give it a more snatched waist put my sandals on what do we think I like it do we like it perfect for holiday but I think this is too big the strap needs to be like this as you can see it's very roomy and we're showing some stomach and but I like it I love the color I think it's very beautiful this is what the back looks like very simple <laughs> the back is very simple 
and you can see the gym has been working off you can see that your girl has been exercising you know six pack is coming through <laughs> Um, I wish that this was a little bit like that because I think this is too much but on holiday I think this is gonna be great um, let me go outside so we can see in a big mirror so, this is what I was saying it needs to be like that but, this whole vibe before i tried it on i mean i still like it but i think it's the trim on the skirt that i don't like um here i'm just showing you that it's actually a skirt and a top so that you can see what it looks like the skirt fits more high-waisted um and i think you know this top fits it perfectly but it's the trim the yellow trim of that ruins okay. i really love this fit but the only thing is it's like why does it not have buttons here it should have a button here so this whole area is open and I don't get it um, the only thing is I feel like the top this is a medium is too big I will have to get this in the small the trousers is a large and I think it's fine yeah yeah I think yeah, I think it's fine, but the issue is the top. I feel like this is way too big and it's slightly too long. Can you see? It's a bit too long. I look a bit, it's too long for me here. It would have been nice if it was like, if it stops like here. Yeah, so, but I do like it though. It reminds me of a, I think it's a Loewe set that I've seen, or Tit Totem. I can't remember, but um, I love it. I think it's definitely giving rich auntie. I just need this in a smaller size. Um, Cause like you can see, it's very roomy. I'm a petite girl, so this is gonna make me look big and shorter. So having a smaller size will be a slightly more fitted and better, but I like it. So here is a full look of this cord. It's really nice, looks very expensive. I love the color. I just needed a top in a smaller size. I think I'm gonna get it online um, because I know what size I need now. After Zara, I was completely starving and Oxford Street is an actual sport, should be a sport. So much walking I did, I was exhausted. So I headed to grab something to eat. Guys, so I finished shopping at uh, Zara. Um, I didn't get anything because the sizing were off, first of all. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy the things online. There was a particular item I was looking for. I saw it on the babe on TikTok, but they didn't have it. I'm trying not to get people in my vlog. Yes, please. Um, no glass, I'll just have it. Do you have a straw, please? Yes, thank you. 
Um, yeah, so I just came to Nando's in the corner. You gotta go to the corner of Selfridges. So I'm here. I'm gonna go into Selfridges to try some new fragrances and so that I can make it part of this vlog. I need to see what's new. There's a brand, I think it's Frederick Mall. I've seen it so many people talk about it online and I need to try it. I know that it's a unisex fragrance as well. So I'm going to try it and let you guys know if I like it. My birthday is coming up, you know? My birthday's in August, guys. So I'm trying, thank you so much. I'm trying to get myself something nice, but for sure I want to travel. So I don't even know if, yeah, I think mainly this year, I just want to travel. Um, so my sister and I are planning a trip. I'm so excited. This is gonna be our second trip together, like as sisters. People are looking at me like, what the hell is she doing, guys? Um, so yeah. What was I saying? I'm looking forward to that. I always do this. What was I saying? I was saying that the fragrances, I'm gonna try it out and see. Hopefully it's nice. And um, I'll give you guys a review. Like I'll do a voiceover though so that it's better. But I'm so hungry. I've had nothing to eat all day. Nando's is my first meal and my only meal today. So yeah. After Nando's, I headed home rested. This is the next day. I headed to the gym, you guys know. I'm on the health journey. Softness is all about looking after yourself. So I always start with my steps on the treadmill and now I'm starting to run actually. Your girl has been lifting weights, babes. I've, <laughs> I even got myself a personal trainer. We don't start until I think next week. Um, but yeah, here's me just, you know, taking it easy, enjoying the, the, the treadmill, taking my steps in and checking myself out. And, um, and here we are lifting. Honestly, I've been working on my arms, my back and stomach. So this exercise has been so good. It's perfect for like giving you that beautiful back. So I've been really enjoying and taking my time on these. You having fun? Hi, princess. Hi. What are you doing? Watching the TV. That's nice. I'm happy to see this. Happy to see what? You doing the place. Okay. You're not always lying on the couch under the covers with your phone. This is really good. Even Ashton as well was here washing the dishes. This is very good. I had the kids over the weekend and we had the most amazing time. I made some uh, chicken, I was going to say fish, some chicken, grilled it. And I also made beans stew. We call this madesu. There's my little helper, my gorgeous Taylor. He was such a good help. I said, Auntie, can I help you in the kitchen? So I said, Yes, baby, come. He helped me prepare the soup. He helped me with, <laughs> around the house. And they all did, actually, to be honest. And Mira did the dishes. So did Ashton. And Auntie Duties, here I am just getting some plates so that I can um, serve the kids. Um, I, I've made rice to go with the meal. So they really love beans and rice and so do I. Um, so it was really tasty. And yeah, they, they had seconds even. They loved it, it was so, so good. next morning helped Taylor to brush his teeth I took up my hair and also his hair 
and I was getting ready to wash my hair and also wash his and plait his hair. Literally, it was a full on weekend and he was sad here. I think he asked me for something, something sweet. And I was like, nah, baby, you need to wait. <laughs> so here I'm just preparing pasta for them. It was so juicy. Even this, they had seconds. They loved it. And here's my little baby and I just having a moment. It was so, so beautiful. I had such an amazing time with the kids. I headed to the protest of what's happening in Goma, Congo with Dorcas. If you, um, I'm sure a lot of you don't know that Congo is going through a silent genocide at the moment, has been for so many years due to its natural resources of coltan and the Western world benefits from this, especially Apple, because they use uh, coltan to create iPhones, laptops, cars, planes, all sorts and Congolese people are suffering, women are being raped, babies are being raped, killed and this needs to stop. So I was very proud to be part of this. We made history on this day and if you can please support Congo um, by searching what's happening in Congo on Google, TikTok to see what's happening. Free Congo! Free Congo! Free Congo! Free Congo!